Welcome back to The Lion King. We're here in Las Vegas talking to the star. Derek Williams is the man who plays Mufasa. What do you do in the second half then? Do you just watch everybody else? It's You know, it's funny. I You know, sometimes I will uh, I'll, I'll, I'll make my rounds. You know, I'm up here on the uh, stage level and uh, most of the cast, uh, 99% of the cast is downstairs. And uh, I actually joined the company late. So I, I find myself, uh, when I have that moment, I like to go down and just say, hey, I'm here. You know, don't forget me. You know, you guys going out tonight? You know, whatever you know, whatever the case may be. Um, and it's great. I, got, I like to go out and make the rounds and really visit everybody and say hello and see how everybody's doing. It's a great company here. Uh, a lot of loving people. They work really hard. And it's it's nice to uh, say hello. I try not to float around too much because, you know, I, I, I kind of have this big smile on my face because I love my job so much. When I first started here, I literally was walking around going, I love my job. 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 You know, and because and, and, I do. I, I really do. So... Um, there are times where it, it can be like I'm si- you're sitting around waiting. You know, actually, I was talking to Simba um, last week, and he was saying, you know, sometimes it's so hard because I feel like I'm sitting here waiting to go on. Well, I have the opposite. I go on in the beginning, which is great. But I, there are there are moments where you feel like it's slowing down because you're sitting you're sitting around waiting. But for the most part, I, I you know it depends. I read a paper. I go down and see everybody. Uh, I read a book. Now and then, <laughs> I'm not a huge book reader, but you, know, you get too intelligent. Yeah, you know, I used to I used to have a TV in my in my dress room, and for some reason, they zapped out our uh, our cable back here. So they must have knew I was back here watching TV. Help me with this, because when I look at you guys, you're so clever and you're so smart and obviously talented. That that's a given. We all get that. Um, but you do the same thing every night in the same spot with the same lights, and there's so many technical things that could go wrong. Mm-hmm. For safety, you have to be in the same spot. So ad lib isn't really a possibility how do you not go mad you know i uh here's the thing i for me and and i i you know i think everybody's different everybody has to find their way what makes them be able to do the same show every day um me personally i get to do what i love to do every single day of my life and i've been able to do that for my for my entire uh, adult career uh and and knowing that uh um i don't take it for granted so when I get to come out here and do what I love to do every day, I, I eat it up and I give it everything I got. Um, and also, you know, it has to do with the actors that you're working with. If you're working with really good actors that, that are there for you, that are there behind you, that are with you 100%, you really can't go wrong. Because, like, long as you're giving the same story, long as you're telling what you need to say in, what, in, in the right way, with uh, the way the directors want it, the way that everybody wants it, you can play around a little bit. You can you can mix things up, but you know you have to tell the story. And as long as you're telling the same story, uh, I don't I don't think it, it's okay to uh, to dabble a little bit. Now you can't go crazy. You can't be out there making up lines and I'm gonna you know you're supposed to be on ten, but you're on eight. I'm gonna do eight this week. You know you can't do that. Um, but you you they do give you the leeway to make it your own. And if you find something, you know you know run with it. No, and and you, we do have uh, we have a resident director here that's here every day, and he's watches the show. And when it when it needs to be pulled back. He'll pull it back. Um, but I, I got it. It has more to do with, you know, you know, 99% of the people have never seen the show before. And, you know, once you get out there, the hardest thing is for anybody is getting out there. But once you're here and you're out there, you love what you're doing. We get to do what we love to do every day. And it's a blessing. Mm. And when you know it's a blessing, you, you, you know, it's, it's all of that. Aside from the show, let's talk about Vegas and you, because this is a place that's got buffets everywhere. I noticed the forty nine <laughs> ninety nine eat as much as you can for 24 hours. How are you not clinically obese? You know, I, I go to the gym five times a week. I really do. And I hate you already. <laughs> you know, we have to. You know, I'm out there uh, in this suit, every uh, this body suit that basically sticks to my body. And, and I know uh, uh, my temple is probably... 60 or 70 percent of the reason I got hired you know so I have to keep that up I have to keep it up so I go to the gym five times a week I try to watch what I eat I give myself a cheat day you know uh, my cheat day starts uh we off on Fridays so my cheat day starts around Thursday at uh 10 30 when the, sh- when the curtain goes down and I eat whatever I want to until maybe a little over 24 hours I mean, I, uh, until Saturday you know but I but that's my treat and other than that you know I I, I really concentrate on what I eat and I, and, and I work hard and, and I and I bust it out five days a week at the gym I'm thinking of going into theater because this radio thing's not working Do you think, <laughs> is there a role for a ginger pasty clinically obese guy like myself who could get a role in the Lion King absolutely there's something for everyone it really is <laughs> how are you a puppet work <laughs> well, yeah, there is that. I'm sure you'd be just fine you'll fit right in <laughs> what do you enjoy doing when you're not at the show I mean this is a city that comes alive when it gets dark so of course when you pack up the show everything's still going what do you like to do do you just go home and and be an angel you know that's the great thing about Vegas I mean you really have the choice Uh, 
uh, you have the choice of staying down, staying on the strip and, and, and living the life, or you have the choice of going home. And I actually live like 15 minutes away, which is pretty great. And I can get away from everything. Um, so uh, there, there are times, you know, I, I try not to go out too much uh, because you can definitely get wrapped up in it. Um, but, uh, you know, on the weekends, so on my Thursday night, you know, that's when my cheat night starts. You know, it all starts right there. So, you know, I'll, I'll definitely hit maybe a lounge here or there. I'm more of a loungy person. I'm not a big club person anymore. I'm getting up there in, 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 in age. And when I, when I go to a club now, I, all I do is look around at everybody and go, why am I here? Um, but, you know, they do have beautiful clubs here. They really do. And, and, and if, if you do it right, you, they, they treat you really nice. Um, <clears throat> But, uh, you know, I, 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 I specifically, I try to keep it, keep it simple and I'll go out on Thursday night, have a good time and, uh, I'll chill on Friday and, but sometimes we'll have a date night. I'm, I have a family. I, I have a, I have a wife. I have a five-year-old daughter and, uh, I usually take them on Friday and we have a family day and whether it be the movies, whether it be bowling, whether it be, um, going to dinner, it's just, we, that's what we do. That's what I do. What is it like for your five-year-old seeing dad on the stage as Mufasa? Oh, my God, man. She, you know, <clears throat> I'm, I'm happy I got to do the show because it's something she got to see that she could really understand and really enjoy. Uh, she does have a hard time with me dying. She really does. She, uh, she covers her eyes and she jumps in mommy's lap and she doesn't want to see it. The first time she cried. She cried when I died. But she loved the show. She was on the edge of her seat the entire show. At four, this she was four when this happened, and she loved every minute of it except when I died. But other than that, man, she she goes to school and show and tell. She takes the program. She says, you know, my daddy's in Lion King, and she talks about me. I mean, mm -hmm. she really, uh, she really, she uh, she's proud, and that makes me feel like the the best dad in the world. Well, I suppose you're the first performer to dance stage every night since Charlie Sheen, really. Right? <laughs> See, I did there a bit of topical humour for you. <laughs> hey, Derek, listen, really lovely to talk to you, and congratulations. This is a fabulous show. And, and to see these audiences loving it every night, every night, every night, I suppose that's what feeds you the energy to get back on the next night. Absolutely. I mean, that, that instant gratification is, is amazing. And not saying that we work for that, but uh, uh, it is beautiful when it happens, and it usually does. And, I, I mean, these crowds, they're on their feet every single day night uh and and it's 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 a great feeling it's nothing like live theater and 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 to be doing lion king which is a huge phenomenon i mean it's it's been in over 13 countries over 50 million people i've seen and 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 everyone loves it you can't go wrong you can't go wrong with lion king a special congratulations to you because i've seen this probably 30 times 40 times i don't know with all different casts all around the world and normally they either look good and don't sound good or that there's kind of some difference <laughs> let's be real about it right. i know disney won't like me saying this but you have both you you look the part and you sound the part and the voice is so important yes. really just having a six pack ain't going to get you anywhere yeah, really, this year. really i really appreciate that I, you know i i i i you know i when i first started doing the role i i was i was concerned i didn't know if i was old enough young enough or whatever whatever the case may be and i and i really feel like i, I found my place and i I thank you. I really, I really enjoy what I'm doing. It's, it's, it's a great role, and I, I, I just, I'm in awe. I mean, I'm so happy to be doing it. Would you put me forward for the role of adult Simba? I think I'm the man for the job. I, I, you know, I was thinking the same thing myself. <laughs> You'd be perfect, Terry Williams. Thank you very much. Absolutely, man. Anytime. <laughs> thank you.